the um, message to take it to heart is a key message for Stop It Now. And another key message that has been carried forward over the years but was started by you was the, the idea that people, in order to take action, need to have hope. Could you say more about how you came to the decision to make hope one of the emblematic messages of Stop It Now? Sure. I, I think when we're dealing with issues that seem so difficult to address, you don't have the words for it, you don't have the, the feeling, the right feeling in your heart to quite deal with it, it's hard to know where to start. But there's so many other issues that as human beings on this planet we've tackled that have been so similarly difficult. You know, I'm thinking about what people, how people dealt with drunk driving before they knew what actions to take. I'm thinking about cancer before they understood cancer. You think about child sexual abuse and it just feels like ah, it, it is so harmful. It's hard to know where to start. But the most important thing is to carry hope in your heart, hope in your mind, and just remain open to all the possibilities that we as human beings have inside of us to figure out really difficult issues that at one time might not be, they might not be the easiest thing to deal with, but once we've dealt with them, we're on the other side of it and we can show others the, the same path.